Hello Sabres, this is Miss Murph speaking. So today we're going to look at section 4.5 which is on writing a function rule. So you're going to want to have a notebook, a pencil, and possibly a calculator today. So as I just said, we're going to look at some function rules that represent real life situations. So basically what this means is we're going to look at story problems and we're going to write equations for those story problems. So here's the first problem. You're going to want to pause the video and take a look and make sure you write this entire thing down into your notebook. So you can estimate the temperature by counting the number of chirps of a snowy tree cricket. The outdoor temperature is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, more than one-fourth the number of chirps the cricket makes in one minute. What is a function rule that represents the situation? So, I know that I'm going to be looking at the number of chirps. So I'm going to say C equals number of chirps. So they say the outdoor temperature is about 40 feet, 40 degrees Fahrenheit more than one fourth the number. So I know I'm going to have 40 degrees more than. More than usually means addition. So 40 plus one fourth the number of chirps. And that's going to give me the degrees. And that is my answer. All we're going to write is equations today. So 40 plus 1 fourth C equals degrees. So let's look at this one. A concert seating plan is shown below. Reserve seating is sold out, so I'm out of reserve seating. Total revenue from ticket sales will depend on the number of general seating tickets sold. Write a maximum rule to represent this situation. What is the maximum possible total revenue? So, they said reserve seating is sold out. So the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out total revenue. That is ticket sales of everything, right? So I know my total revenue is going to equal the money I make off of reserve seating plus the money I'm going to make off of general seating, right? So let's figure out this reserve seating. They said we're sold out. So it's $25 for every row I have in reserve, or every seat I have in reserve seating. So I have 10 rows with 12 seats per row. So that would mean I have 10 times 12 seats, which is 120 seats, right? So I know that I have $25 for each of those 120 seats. So I got 25 times $120. Now, I do not know how many general seats were purchased. So I need to find, that's going to be my x. So x equals number of general seating tickets. So, but I know it's $10 per ticket, so I know it's 10 X. So 10 times X will give me the amount of money I generate there. So then I'm going to do 25 times 120 and I'm going to get $3,000 plus 10 X. Now they actually want me to evaluate on this one. So I need to find the maximum possible total revenue. So I want to maximize my X. X was the general seating ticket. So I know that I need to think, what if I do a full house, sold out? So that means 30 times 16, right? So let's do 30 times 16. And that gives me 480 tickets that I can possibly sell here. There are 480 seats in general seating. So what if I make X 480? What if I sell out everything? 3,000 then plus 10 times 480. So I get 3,000 plus 10 times 480 is 4,800. Which if I add those two together, 78. 
800. So $7,800. That's my total revenue for the entire concert. Pretty good. So now we're going to look at problem three, which is on graphing nonlinear functions. So they say, write a function row for the area of a rectangle whose length is 5 feet more than its width. What is the area of the rectangle when its width is 9 feet? So we're going to kind of disregard this until the end, this part right here. But they wanted me to write when the area of a rectangle whose length is 5 feet more than its width. So let's draw that rectangle here. So they say my length is 5 feet more than my width. So it looks like my width is going to be W. Now, if you remember, area of a rectangle, that's area time equals length times width. So they say my length is 5 feet more than my width. So if that is the case, I could say my length is 5 plus W. Does that make sense? Because 5 feet more than width, so my width, let's say it's 2, so then my length would be 7. So I have 5 plus 2 or 5 plus W. So now I need to find my area. So I'm going to go W times 5 plus W. Like that. So my area, if I distribute my W in, W times 5 is 5W. And a W times a W is a W squared. Not 2W, but W squared. Now, I've gotten my function rule. Here's my function rule right here. Now I need to make, need to see one of my width is 9. So I'm going to plug in 9 in for my width. And see what my area gives me. So 5 times 9, I know that that is 45. And 9 squared, I know that is 81. So I'm going to go 45 plus 81, and that's going to give me 126 and I want to put a label on that feet 126 feet that's the end of the video see you later sabers